Shams reported earlier today that there was some interest by the Knicks and the Clippers in one Derrick Rose. Derrick yeah. Rose, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, I mean, what, what do we think about this here, Jails? Yo, sh- shout out to Mark Berman. I'm going to say shout out to Mark Berman. <laughs> yeah. I remember reading uh, the Knicks were interested in Derrick Rose like in July or something <laughs> and did like a whole show about it. And I, in my mind, I'm like, I can see it because if you look at Tom Thibodeau's track record, he just likes to bring people that was on that Bulls team <laughs> everywhere. We got Taj here, right? We, we got <laughs> yeah. Taj here already. So exactly. So, so I was like, so I, in my mind, I'm like, I can see this actually happening. Now, do I actually want it to happen is a whole nother question. Um, not necessarily. I don't know what we're giving up for him. Yeah, and for, uh, and for those and for those that think Peyton, guess again because there's no way Peyton with the no trade clause is signing off to go to Detroit. Hell no. <laughs> he, so he, they're four and thirteen right right now. Jails. He, Peyton ain't going to no damn Detroit. Hell no. Peyton has never been to the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, he's, and he said that he That's wants right. to be in the playoffs, so he's going to sign off to go to Detroit Pistons, leaving nah, New York yeah. Knicks, who actually. He's not, he has actually shot this year to, to actually make. I don't know. He's not signing off on that. Nah, not, not at all. But uh, mm-hmm. Ash, where are, you, where are you at on the D Rose stuff? Yeah, I mean, I love Derrick Rose. And if this was a Derrick Rose maybe like five years ago, I would say do it, you yeah. know? Like, but Derrick Rose now, um, as much as, you know, you know, Peyton can be on the first class flight out of New York, I wouldn't say, you know, enough to take Derrick Rose. I think. Um, it would depend on what now if I can give him DSJ and and you know somebody else for twos. yeah I was thinking some two K trades like that some, if some I can 2K do it like that cool let's do it but I don't know I mean Derek yeah. Rose as much as I love him and he I still think you know he has that shooting ability he is injury prone and you just kind of be adding yeah. another injury prone player to your squad that you don't know how much use can you can get out of and that's one of my critiques when it comes to yeah. Frank. Um, if I had to trade for someone, I would definitely take Lonzo over D Rose at this point. Yeah, um, I would definitely take uh, Lonzo over D Rose. I don't know if, and I now from a, not, not necessarily just because D Rose has, um, because I think Lonzo younger. Is, not because I don't think D Rose is talented, or I think Lonzo's more talented than D Rose. I just think Lonzo, I would get more use out of. He's more durable. He's younger. I think that's a big yeah. factor, a big consideration. When you're trading for players, unfortunately, it's not just about talent. So, um, yeah, it would be it would be something that I would seriously consider. Obviously, you know, D Rose and Tibbs have a relationship. Yeah. Um, so there would be no issue on that front. You know, trying to get them to gel together, but I don't know if it's enough, truthfully. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You know, the age thing is certainly a factor. Um, he's also going to be a free agent. Lonzo's going to be a restricted free agent. Uh, the Euros would be a free agent. I mean, obviously, offensively, you, you get a talent upgrade over Peyton. You're going to fall off on defense. You know, at least Peyton yeah. gives you some effort on the defensive end, so you're going to fall off there. Injury concern for sure, JLS. I mean, he, he just missed his last two games with a knee injury. Yeah. Um, uh, Dwayne Casey has been managing his minutes. They've been bringing D-Rose off the bench and having him close. Yeah. So, you know, he's been trying to, to, to manage his minutes because they were fairly high last year. You know, I, I again, I, I wouldn't, I would take it if it, if it was a cheap deal. Yeah, if but, it was like virtually free. Yeah, I would take but it. I, yeah. I wouldn't be, but, I wouldn't be clamoring to get D Rose back here. To be honest with you, he's, yeah, he still has something left, but I just, yeah, I wouldn't move the needle for me, bro. Yeah, like I feel like he makes more sense on a contending team. Yeah, to me, which is why they say the Clippers are also interested. Yeah, that that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't. Um, if it's your last leg, your last stretch, obviously you want to do it on a team that was a contender. Um, and this is not to say, you know, I don't want the chat to get confused. I'm not, you know, all in on Lonzo either. I think it depends yeah. on what they would ask for. If I had to, you know, pick my poison, D Rose or Lonzo, obviously I would take Lonzo for a few reasons, not because I think he's more talented than D Rose. I'm just looking at it from a durability, um, you know, youth, a, a, a youth, youth long term. Yeah long-term perspective so it's not necessarily the talent it's just you know how much use i can get out of someone so i don't know um i'm not really sold on either of them you know it's not yeah, really i would not, make for either big, so uh, i'm not that big on it yeah one, one guy i would check in though uh, jl's is champs also said that along with lonzo 
Um, Pelicans yeah. wouldn't mind giving up JJ Redick. Give me JJ. I'll take JJ any day. What do you guys think about that? Now, wow. now his shooting is dipped. His shooting is dipped, um, big time. He went from shooting forty five percent last year from three. Now he's at thirty. He's he's been in a big time slump from thirty. 30 but I would still take the chance on him if he's that's, coming. That's coming shooting. back, man. JJ career. I don't know, man. Yeah. I might roll the. <laughs> I might yeah, roll the he's price. been a he's been a brick house lately. I mean, the Pelican fans, any Pelicans fans in the chat might might want to you know give us some insight into what's going on. Pelicans are just falling off a cliff, really, but. Um, yeah, so according to Shams, JJ and Lonzo could be made available. I, I would definitely um, take JJ over Lonzo. Um, and obviously that would go against my point of, you know, youth, but I think JJ as a mentor, um, you yeah, know, is nice. something you can't, you can't count out. I think he's been in this league long enough. Um, he's been in this league rather a long time. So I think having somebody like that, you know, it's only beneficial to this young group of guys to be that veteran leadership that you can use in the locker room and things like that. I also think he still plays defense. I think he, yeah. you know, even though his, you know, shooting has dipped, I definitely think it hasn't dipped enough where he's not still a shooter. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Like he has probably one of the cleanest shots I've seen, you know, he's a Duke guy. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would, out of the I'll, three, I'll, I would I'll definitely look at JJ. Yeah. I'll look at him too. Yeah. I, I, I would just say, watch out for Kevin's minutes dipping at, at that point, depending on who we move out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, that's but, fair. Yeah. I'll, I'll also say this. It would be cool if he came here because then, you know, maybe he could do some cross pod action because he know he has his own pod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring that pot to New York. That looks like, huh? <laughs> For sure. For sure. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Leave us some comments. JJ Reddick, D Rose, Lonzo, some of the names that, that's being bandied about. Uh, as far as trade rumors, leave a comment in the chat and let us know how you're feeling about these uh, so-called trade rumors.